Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. On this episode of Mahjong Nash and Such, I'm going to make tortilla pinwheels. It's a great recipe that, for the most part, you can store in your pantry and then pull out at the last minute. Of course, you have to make sure that you have cream cheese on hand, but the rest of these ingredients are typically in a pantry. I have tortillas. This is the burrito size tortillas. I have a jar of diced pimentos, a can of chopped olives, black olives, and I have a little can of diced green chilies. And then of course I have a brick of cream cheese. That is it for ingredients. The first thing you need to do is chop and drain the veggies. That's why I have all these napkins here because they need to be laid on the napkins for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so because there's that residual water. And if you don't do this step, your tortillas are going to get soggy and that will not be a good thing. So let's get started. What I do first is I open the cans and then I put the olives and the green chilies in a strainer and then I press the water out just with my hands to get as much of that water content out as possible. And then I'll put that mixture on paper towel. Now these chilies are a little bit big. I might chop those up a bit more. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that separately first. So I just take a napkin and just kind of press it through so that the water comes out on the other side. The chilies will stick to your napkin so just kind of scrape that scrape it off the best you can the idea here is just to get as much water out of that as possible so we don't need that So I'm just gonna take my knife and just run it through, just to make the pieces a little bit smaller. Okay, that's pretty good. So then I just lay out some paper towel, like four, just like that. I'm learning not to scrape my knife against my cutting board. I guess I should say I'm, I'm learning to not run the sharp edge along my cutting board. I like using the knife to help scoop off the stuff that I've cut. So I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit And then I'm going to put some more paper towel on top and press it. And that just kind of quickens the process a little bit. And that those chilies are going to stick. So after we've let this kind of sit for a bit, we're going to have to peel them off the paper towel a little bit. And we're, we don't have to do the same thing here because these chopped olives are super fine. So I'm just gonna dump those in here like this. And I'm gonna squeeze out as much water as I can. So you can see that water coming out of there. 
Just squeeze out as much as you can. And then put your paper towel out. And just spread it out. Put some on top and press it down. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing here to these pimentos. You can see how it kind of sticks on there. Just scrape it off. Oops, I'm scraping. Not good. Oh, I did it again. Ah! Boy, that's a tough habit to break. It just lengthens the life of your knives, and I'm told. And just spread it out. I need to get some more napkins. We still have about, I don't know, five or so minutes to go on the draining process. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the cream cheese just to further soften it. You just want one brick. I'm using Neufchatel. This is the one third less fat version. It's a bit softer, so it's got fewer calories and it's easier to work with. It tastes the same, so don't worry about that part. You want to make sure this is warm to room temperature because it'll be easier to mix these veggies in. Okay, it's going to get a little loud. The veggies are then draining now. I'm going to peel them off. There's the timer. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these off. Okay, so that wasn't bad, but you see all that liquid? You don't want that on your tortillas. This is what it looks like. It's all smashed in there. So you can see that it's pretty well stuck on. And you just take your fingers and kind of scrape it off. Don't skip this part. I mean the draining part because you will have soggy tortillas and they get they get kind of gummy. It is not pleasant. It's actually a bit nauseating. So this is really really an important step to do this draining. All right, now we're going to peel off the olives. And if you don't care for black olives, you can use green olives or you can omit them completely. I think it's a nice salty flavor to this dish. Some's going to stick on there, but do the best you can. It'll be fine. Okay. So there's that now for the pimento. This makes a really nice dish for the holidays because of the green and the red. It's kind of holiday colors. Very festive. And these tortilla roll-ups, or pinwheels, whatever you want to call them, 
they do they do better if you plan to serve them in one day because the longer they sit in your fridge they do tend to get a bit soggy because there's still a little bit of water in these veggies so whenever i make these i try to plan it around a time when i know i'm going to eat them within a day or two whether it's a party or part of a dinner party or what have you. All right, here we go. We're going to mix now. You just want to mix until it's well blended. Okay, I got to wash my hands. All right, here we go. Okay. And I always like to just kind of scrape it off the sides and sort of pull it, pull it to one side because it'll be easier to get at it when you start spreading it on the tortillas. Okay. Now we're going to take the tortillas and this can be a bit of a messy job. So be prepared. So just take one tortilla at a time and put it on your workspace. And you wanna just take, I don't know, I guess about a couple, well, let's just see. I, I've never really measured how much I put on each tortilla. I just kind of spread it a, a bit like um, peanut butter. If I was having a peanut butter sandwich, which I don't, I might have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but never just a plain peanut butter sandwich. But basically you want to spread it about the same amount that you would for a peanut butter sandwich. And you want to bring it all the way to the edge. Okay, that's pretty good. Then the roll-up procedure. You want to pinch the edge super tight because that's the beginning of your pinwheel or your roll. And then you just slowly pinch and roll forward, just like this. And it is going to move some of that filling. You see some of that filling is getting pushed forward. That's okay because at the end of the roll, we can scrape off anything that falls off that edge. You just want to keep it nice and tight. Okay. So like in this case, we didn't have any seepage here, maybe just a little right there. Okay, and that's it. So then you, you have a roll just like this and you're gonna place it in a dish cause that's gonna need to chill for like a half an hour or something like that. And that chilling it will just makes, uh, make the cream cheese in there just a little hard so that when you cut through, you don't smoosh it. So they stay round like a pinwheel. So this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna speed this up. We got tortillas to spread and roll. All right, so here they are, and you're going to stick those in the fridge. I like to just put some paper towel on top. We'll just stick these in the fridge to chill for about a half an hour. OK, 
Okay, let's see. Okay, so we'll just let that go. All right, now. All right, uh, next, let's stop that. The tortilla roll-ups have been chilling for about half an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and slice them now. So I'll just take one out and the edges here, you just wanna cut those off because they're not pretty. They've got kind of a gap. So that we just kind of eat not in view of guests. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each one of these. Just cut those ends off. See how they're just not attractive. Not only that, but the filling sometimes doesn't get all the way to the end. So I just cut them off. All right, so those will be eaten, just not right now. Okay, so now what you do is, we could probably do a couple at a time here. You just wanna create bite size. So you don't want them too awful thick. So I'd say something like that. like that there so this is how I would serve it just on a dish on parchment with some salsa on the side and I have these uh, gnarly bits from the end so this is how I eat it you just take it and dip it in that salsa pop it in your mouth mmm It's really good. I'm just gonna dip it, no double dipping. This is a one bite roll up, a one bite pinwheel. See? Mmm. It's really good. Of course, if you like cream cheese, it's really good. If you're not a fan of cream cheese, you will not like this recipe, but it's really good. And the chilies and the, the green olive and then the uh, pimento, all three of those together make a delicious kind of a mild spice, savory, salty bite. It's really good. Give it a try yourself and let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. After you click subscribe, click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any dishes that might be good for your next Mahjong event. Between now and the next Mahjong Nosh and such, may all your picks be keepers. I'm going to have another one of these little gnarly bits. Mm really good.